Hello, hello, hello. Welcome back guys to my YouTube channel. If you're seeing this screen, then you know which series that we're gonna continue. Yes, we're gonna continue our summer semester preparation requirement analysis video for the term 2025. In this series of videos, what we are going, when we started, we thought like we will go through this 43 colleges search criteria that we have got for summer semester 2025 for the criterias which are English taught, bilingual close courses also included, not pure German, but English and bilingual course, no tuition fees, public universities, electrical engineering, master degrees. So these are the search criteria that we all uh, always looked for. And when we started this, we also did parallelly, whichever the college is requirement analysis when we are doing it. When we get to know that we can already apply for it, in between we have stopped this requirement video and also apply, showed you how to apply also. Like then, uh, last video I also talked about BTU College Cottbus and I checked the uh, UniSS website so I can see that there is no application open uh, still in UniSS. So I think it will open in November 1st or November 15, depending on the application opening date because last time also when we did a deadline uh, requirement analysis video, we only got to know the deadline is on January 15th. We didn't get to know that what is the starting date. So I will be keep looking. Uh, don't worry that's why i'm here then when it is open i will show you how to apply today so we can continue with our requirement analysis and today i gonna do a, a requirement analysis on college number 19. how we are get to know 19 because all 18 other colleges are been bookmarked here or watch listed here that is for me but we are also keeping track of these colleges in excel sheet so this excel sheet could be hand over to everyone once it is done if you are new to this channel then don't forget to like share and subscribe and please i would suggest you to support me so that it will also boost my energy to do more videos and also please share this video series everything to the people who are in need so that they can look for this video and check and apply for themselves and they can start study masters in germany without any juice we'll, we'll get started today as we promised last time we are uh, talked about btu technology cottbus and application deadline is not yet open that's the, that's the reason we will continue with our requirement analysis for the course industrial security and safety university of applied sciences if you just go through then you know the drill i will go through all overview course detail course funding requirement and services let's get started so this degree is msc and technical language language will be english but for languages the international specialization the language of instruction is english only but with the compulsory german language courses each semester of five ects so you have to do a german language course each semester which is five ects this german language course would be German language courses, which is general. So that's the reason at the end of the studies, graduate will be able to demonstrate German language skill C1. So they want to have a C1 level of German at the end of the master's degree so that it would be also beneficial for you to find job and things like that. Then it's a full-time course and master duration is three semester. Beginning is in only summer semester. And the semester is full time uh, application deadline is 15 December for the following summer semester. We don't know if it is started, but I will check for it. If it is started, then next upcoming two videos will be how to apply. Then tuition fees is none. Combined master degree is also no and a joint degree is also no. Then description of content of the course we can go through and there is an annual information of uh, electrical engineering degree also but we will just go through in the course date in the course details as i told you course duration will be three semester one take per year which is only summer semester or march so summer semester or march means march is the time when you start the college but application deadline is in december 15th total credit will be 90 ects if you're studying three semester course then it will be 90 ects this 90 credits the master thesis will be 15 plus 5 uh, credit points so it will be 20 credit points your master thesis then specialization international for international students for summer semester 2025 onwards you you have a specialization extra so please further information on the modules please refer to this uh, electrical engineering guide but this we will go into deeper when i show you how to apply but on a glance we can just go through how the credit points and semester is defined and also courses here in the 
first term you will do five credits of one compulsory module and two five credits of compulsory module which will cover you uh, 10 10 credit points and german one level you will start b2.1 yeah this is a bilingual for your application only you need to have a b2 that's why they're starting on b2.1 this is like Duisburg university where it has a bilingual course this is also kindly same for bilingual course while you are applying for the college itself you need to have a b2 because in the first time you need to take b2.1 in order to take b2.1 you need to have b2 already from any of the recognized language institution then compulsory module seminar then another crossover modules which is i think elective we can consider and that you have this many credit points five credit points this is how the degree is structured you can just go through it but here what we learn important point is it's a bilingual course and you need to have a b2 before applying only but that we will also give information in requirement Some supplement will be issued at the end of the course completion that is for sure then international elements there will be international guest lecturers specialist literature on other languages and you can also international comparisons of uh, thematic reference of international context and also you can also do internship outside germany uh, which we call as exchange semester you can just go and do your exchange semester outside germany for internship then you can also click on cost and fundings as i told you cost and fundings will be none approximately 160 euros per semester this 160 euros i don't think it will cover the contribution of travel that's the reason they have mentioned 160 euros per semester but if they would have told it is covering the your transport then they would have mentioned so transport you will have to pay another like say example 350 so it will count up to 500 no exceeding 500 then cost of living will be 700 to 950 so 950 is the maximum they're saying but anyway this doesn't help you because you will be blocking certain amount of money beforehand for your visa interview then requirement and registration as i told you here it will be good so you need to have a bachelor degree at least 2.6 it is basic uh, if you have a more than 7 cgpa or 6.8 to 7 cgpa then you are already in 2.6 so no need to worry from a recognized university at least 210 ects credit points in the fields of computer science business related degree programming and equivalent degree okay 210 ects we have 200 so other than 10 credit points will be given by some professional experience but they will gonna talk about be below in third point so we can talk then depending on the final grade german uh, grade averages 2.3 to 2.6 a successful completed section of uh, selection of interview will be required so if you have under 2.3 then there is no interview process say example if you are more than 2.3 means it will come around 7.5 7.6 i'm just taking a guess but please do check with your vpt if you have one already then 2.3 if you are below then you don't need to uh, attend the interview if you are between 2.3 to 2.6 then they will call an interview process and they will select in between these two category then degree holders which at least 180 credit points or equivalent so these are the 180 credit points which they have six semester they have to may require complete additional qualification uh, additional lectures or practice uh, practical trainings in the college so uh, 180 credit points also they are giving admission but after you go there you have to do some of the extra courses say example 180 credit points you have done so how much credit points are left 30 credit points you don't need to do 30 maybe you will have to do 15 credit points which will cover a basic if you want to do a mathematics advanced mathematics then they will teach you basic mathematics just to be sure that you have uh, good at it that's the reason you will have to do it then applicants with a foreign degree must provide a uni assist equal equation please note the evaluation may take four to six weeks so i think i will make a video on how to apply for vpd for this particular college so that's the reason we can start applying then for international specialist students the prerequisite b1 level of german and b2 level of english is as i told you why you need a b2 level of german because the language of instruction is english only but each semester you have to do a in german language course so the german language course as we saw it is starting in first semester and it is starting directly in b2.1 so if you want to do b2.1 you need to have already b1 so that's the reason they are asking you need to have a b1 completed if you have a2 apply for it then you will get a conditional admit after you go there you have to finish b1 then start the studies this is for sure then uh, for the master degree prerequisite language skills b2 is required b1 of german is required and english it will be b2 means 6.5 and above ielts so that's it and with all lesser not lesser than 5.5 so you need to have a minimum of 5.5 in each uh, ielts band then german specification you need to have a b1 and they are asking you need to have a 
certificate from these institution not any other institution uh, goite telk and other things i think telk and goite are the one which are famous in india also i don't know about other thing but your test result must be less than 2 years old so this is good you have to take consideration your test result must be 2 years old not more than 2 years old proof of language proficiency has to be submitted with official application so if you are applying only then you have to submit it but not for vpd vpd you will get after getting vpd when you are applying via this website to their college then you need to have a b1 certificate already or if you have a2 then they will give you conditional admit additionally we can only accept official certificate listed above these are the official uh, uh, certificate that they are only so these are the requirement analysis i think everybody understood so here we got to know that you we also need a evaluation certificate which is our vpd for, from unisys so we will make video next upcoming days for this how to apply for a vpd because it will take 4 uh, to 6 weeks see from the official website only they are saying it will take 4 to 6 weeks so usually everybody will say 4 to 8 weeks so which will be 1 to 2 months so in between you can get anywhere your vpd then services so services it will be normal you will have a welcome event tutors a uh, specialist counseling and you will have accommodation which they have technical university of applied science student and work they have and it will be 200 to 350 euros per monthly basis it's good please try to get in accommodation here in college itself so it will be good so you will be in your community and also you will be inside student uh, mindset so it will be good and other than that you can also ask a contact person they have given for any general services support of international things so these are the things that i wanted to tell you today and also i took some time and also filled in our excel sheet our 19th college is done then we got to know that application deadline is 15 december i am pretty sure it will be started so i will show you how to apply for vpd once vpd is done how how i will show you how to apply for vpd you can apply proper college how to apply for this particular college so if you like this video don't don't forget to like share and subscribe and thank you so much for watching this video until here see you next video bye bye